Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Carlos. I'm a professional photographer and a drone pilot based here in Southern California. I spend a lot of time observing sharks. Have you ever wondered how sharks sleep? Especially a species like the great white. Well, today we're diving into that mystery and we're gonna take a look at some footage I've captured that may show a great white shark actually sleeping. Before we get into the footage, let's take a look at the basics. First of all, what is sleep? I mean, besides it being one of my favorite things to do, sleep isn't just about closing your eyes and lying still. For you and me, and most humans that don't have to work at night, it means going to bed every night on a regular schedule. That schedule is governed by what is known as a circadian rhythm. It regulates certain biological processes that are primarily driven by light and darkness. That is primarily why we feel most sleepy at night. It's a law that governs various living organisms. But great white sharks exhibit unique rest behaviors that differ from traditional sleep patterns observed in many animals. Scientists define sleep based on specific criteria, including reduced awareness of surroundings, lowered brain activity, and a period of rest that can be reversed, unlike a coma. All of these play a vital role in our brain function. But when it comes to sharks, there seems to be a big mystery around how they achieve what we traditionally refer to as sleep. One of the biggest differences has all to do with how sharks breathe. Sharks have two primary methods of breathing, ram ventilation and buckle pumping. The method they use depends on the species and it is primarily governed by movement in the water. With ram ventilation, sharks must keep moving to push water over their gills while buckle pumping allows some species to breathe without constant movement. So how does this physically work? Well, the muscles in a shark's mouth contract, pulling in water. Now this water is forced over the gills, allowing them to extract oxygen. This allows these sharks to rest on the ocean floor without swimming constantly. If sharks that rely on ram ventilation stop moving, they can suffocate because they lack the ability to actively pump water over their gills. Some of the most well-known sharks like great whites, makos, tiger sharks, and hammerheads rely on ram ventilation to survive. This is why you often hear that great whites can't stop swimming because movement is essential for their survival. So why does this matter in relation to sleep? Since great white sharks must keep moving to breathe, scientists believe they may sleep while swimming, similar to what's been observed in dolphins. Scientists have studied dolphin behavior and essentially figured out that one half of the dolphin's brain sleeps while the other half stays awake. This is a behavior known as unihemispheric sleep. The awake hemisphere keeps the dolphin swimming, surfacing for air and aware of predators. This has been confirmed through EEG studies where scientists have observed one brain hemisphere showing slow wave sleep while the other remains active. I'm linking to that study in the video description below if you want to learn more. There is quite a bit we know about how dolphins sleep, and that is because dolphins are just much more accessible to study than great white sharks. In fact, research has shown that dolphins in captivity can swim in a semi-automatic way while resting. Now that may be one of the only benefits to come out of dolphins in captivity, but nonetheless, in at least one controlled study of dolphins, there is evidence of continued swimming in a circular pattern while asleep. And even further, there are observations of dolphins with one eye closed, often the eye opposite of the resting brain hemisphere that is shut. When the left hemisphere sleeps, the right eye is closed and vice versa. Once again, these are all sleep observations made in dolphins because they have been more accessible historically. The same just can't be said about sharks. In case you missed one of my recent episodes of Ocean Talks, we took a look at the history of great white sharks in captivity. Check it out here. The checkered history means that there's a lack of direct observations and data collection of great white sharks when it comes to sleep. Even without the direct observations, there seems to be a unique connection between dolphins and great white sharks. One that could give us a clue about how white sharks actually sleep. But there's another key factor that controls when and how animals sleep. Circadian rhythms. This is easy to observe in land animals and even in marine mammals. When it comes to sharks, things get a little tricky. Unlike dolphins, sharks don't need to surface for air and their environment doesn't have the same light cues that drive traditional sleep patterns. After all, the deeper you go into the water, the darker it gets. So how do great white sharks even have a circadian rhythm? 
Well, they may not. Some studies suggest that sharks may enter a low energy state, possibly their version of rest. Others believe that sharks may enter a state of reduced alertness while still swimming, but without clear EEG data. This remains a theory. So what do we know about how great white sharks sleep? It is believed that their spinal cord controls movement while parts of their brain rests. This ensures continuous water flow over their gills. But how can we be sure? That's the tricky part. We already know they can't be kept successfully for observation in aquariums. It's hypothesized that similar to dolphins, they may rest one hemisphere of their brain at a time, allowing them to maintain swimming while achieving rest. However, direct evidence of this phenomenon in great whites is currently lacking. So if sharks don't sleep in the way we traditionally define it, what exactly are they doing? Well, therein lies the mystery. Much of what we know about sleep in white sharks is limited because observations in nature are just hard to come by. And it's here where things get really interesting. I've noticed a unique connection between dolphins and great white sharks, one that could give us a clue about how sharks actually sleep. And this observation all has to do with circles. Let me show you what I'm talking about. At first glance, this might not seem too interesting, but this video is sped up 300%. This shark is moving slowly, but more interestingly is the trail it's leaving behind. The vortex trail leaves a visible mark of where the shark has been, and they seem to be everywhere there are white sharks. The circles are unmistakable. This made me wonder why the sharks are consistently traveling in near perfect circular patterns. Sometimes they go wide and sometimes they get tighter. This shark did both. As I approached it, you can see the shark is carrying something in its mouth. Equally interesting, I would later identify the object in its mouth as a thresher shark. But it's the circles that I'm focused on here. Here's some more circles. And here's another, next to a shark seemingly unbothered by either the boat or the paddleboarder in the area. Up close, the sharks look normal. You'd never really know they're going in circles. But could this shark actually be sleeping? The more I focused on the circle, the more I realized that I was finding these circles more often. And the circles may be an indication that the sharks may shut down half of their brain, just like dolphins. But why in a circle? I reached out to Dr. Allison Towner, a shark scientist whom I've interviewed last year in a episode of Ocean Talks. And she's a frequent advisor on this channel. And she agreed, these sharks might actually be sleeping. And the explanation for the circles makes a lot of sense. If you need to sleep or rest, but have to keep moving, it may be that the sharks have evolved to protect themselves in this state by swimming in circles. If you think about it, if a great white shark is sleeping, then going in a straight line likely increases the chances that it will cross paths with something that may endanger it. That list of dangers could be as simple as roaming into deeper waters where larger sharks are, or orcas or even boats could strike them. The circles may indicate that the sharks may be sleeping or at the very least napping. So based on what we know about dolphins and these circular swimming patterns, we may have just uncovered an important clue about how great whites actually rest in the wild. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. It's a very interesting observation. I keep seeing these circles all the time. This summer, I'm gonna focus specifically on documenting more of them. And if you think they're sleeping, let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your support on this channel. A like, a comment, and your subscription is truly an honor. Uh, everything you see on this channel is created in real life. And there's no AI-generated content here. So. Until next time, friends, keep it real.